Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Cheltenham. We're on the way to the Cotswold Motor Museum. Magic. We're on the way to the Cotswold Motor Museum. Really don't know what to expect. So there could be a lot of interesting cars for me to show you or not. I don't actually know what's there. Now I believe that the setup of the building is that it's split into six or seven different galleries with cars from each era or each type of car, GTs, that sort of thing, in each gallery. What I'll try and do is focus on all the Italian cars that I can find there because I know that that's what you guys want to see if you're watching this tunnel. And we'll see if there's anything else interesting there. I think there's a lot of old British stuff as you'd expect with it being in the Cotswolds. Potentially some old Jaguars that I'm quite looking forward to seeing. And I think there may be a smattering of pre-war stuff too. Um, some 1920s Taurus, that sort of thing. So we're gonna get on the road, it's about a half hour drive to get there. Because the forecast was for great weather, while I'm in this part of the country for a couple of weeks, I decided not to bring the carbon roof so I could just pop the roof down at any point I wanted. Now of course, all the time I've been working in the week, the weather's been absolutely fantastic, sunny, 20 plus degrees, you know, prime top-down weather. And I know what you guys want to hear is the record Monza exhaust, but unfortunately, as I begin to shoot a video, as is always the way, it's uh, grey and pretty dismal and uh, about to rain, so great. Also, just while I'm enjoying these country lanes, a quick update on the wrap colour choice. Um, since I actually made that video, within about a week I think, somebody posted a video of the car in 3M Gloss Fiery Orange, uh, as luck would have it, so I was able to see what that would look like. Don't know if that would suit this car, but after seeing a British company called Logic spraying an Alfa Romeo 8C in a Ferrari colour called Third Ace Zeltweb I think it is, I think dark green would look really, really good on this car. The benefit of the green as well is that it doesn't matter what colour OZ Ultra Legera I get, they'll all match it. Right, we're here. I imagine this is what everybody thinks Britain looks like, but it doesn't. Right, let's park up and get to the museum. I thought it was a lot bigger than that, although we did get to see that gorgeous Jag XK140, which I'd love to own one day. A bit disappointing that there was nothing Italian though. Still worth a visit if you're in the area though. It's only a few pounds and uh, you get to drive these great roads on the way there. So normal service will be resumed next weekend with some blasting on country lanes. While I'm down here in Gloucestershire, it's kind of a good opportunity to go to either the Cheddar Gorge or to South Wales maybe in the mountain. Do subscribe to see that video when it goes live next weekend. As always, thanks for watching. Ciao.